plus honor student and it wasn't an easy task but with such supporting mentors at Oda World College everything seems possible uh, talking of uh, talking about my work experience i was associated with comart world a technology media and advertising group started in 1934 wherein i played a key role in strengthening the internal and external communication between the employees and their clients Uh, at the same time, also interned at Log9 Materials, a Bangalore-based uh, nanotechnology startup, uh, wherein I worked as a corporate representative for the firm, uh, dealing with domestic and international clients around the globe. Uh, so uh, I'll speak more about the corporate experience in the next slide. But uh, speaking about uh, the experience which I have at Oda, so at the same time uh, I was the student, uh, I was the Senate President at Oda World College. and i was a student representative for university of wolverhampton at uk uh, and also the research club head at koda world college so as you must have seen that uh, even our previous students ali damani and everyone mentioned that it is very important to have a balance between academic extracurricular and your corporate work when you keep a balance between all two all three of this at this at that time you are going to excel and i'm great that koda world college has provided me with such great opportunities at the time moving on to the next slide Uh, yeah, I'll be sharing few of my experiences which I had at the internship which I had done. So speaking about my very first internship, which was at Comart One. Now it was a great internship, and uh, the thing which we were, we were given over there is like I was asked to strengthen the communication between the employees and their clients. So they told it this is the problem, and you have to bring up with the solution. So very first thought which came into my mind is that how does this employee actually work? How does an employee in a firm work? What is the kind of thinking? What motivates them to work? and how it works so eventually when i was working on that i realized that how am i supposed to do that how am i supposed to bring in this and how am i supposed to know what exactly this employee needs so that they can have better communication so what i realized is they are lacking in the soft skills and because they are lacking in the soft skill it is not giving them much confidence to speak with the clients effectively and that is what this uh, my module ipw and lmp was stepped in and ipw i clearly remember i was taught that what motivates an employee to work harder and how 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 this motivation will bring in the self confidence and able to do his work more effectively similarly in lmpo i learned that how it is very important to make your employee know that he he is valued at this firm and he when the employee knows that he is valued at his firm at the same time he will be more effective at his work so that is something where i learned from this module and i put it forward in my internship as well moving on to my second internship uh, log9 materials a bangalore based startup So you know when you work in a startup and when you work in a firm which is already established, there's a lot of difference. In a startup, they ask you to do ten things at the same time, and so that is pressure, but you enjoy that at the same time. So I remember perfectly that uh, in my module business and global context, I was taught that uh, every, every country might have its different culture, and to expand your business, you should know that uh, what are the structures of that company, how does that structure, how does that country, how does that company operates in different country. and that is what i learned and that is what i incorporated so i was given an opportunity to deal with the international clients and the domestic clients at the same time so though both of them are so both of them, so i was selling the same product to both of them but they were at a different culture and at a different uh, geographical region and bdc helped me to know that i i, I was i was aware that this is what happens and i was aware to tackle all the problem at the same time now after the finalization of deal it is very important to make sure that your services or your product reach perfectly to your client so when they are at the international borders and at the domestic borders you have to deal a lot with the operations and the supply chain management and the logistics which goes in so this particular module osm osm it uh, helped me very well to understand that uh, what are the different uh, logistic parts which brings in how to make sure that your manufacturer and the uh, manufacturer and the seller and the client there's effective communication between all of this and to make sure that your services are then at a better hand and a time management as well This was this is what I learned, and the best of the best. Uh, recently, what I have learned in my level three module, uh, sorry, level six modules, uh, were EST, economics of sustainable development, and strategic management. So you know, when I went through this module, economics of sustainability development, I realized that there is a huge part of us to play towards the society, and a business can sustain in today's time only if it is uh, going up with the sustainability and not uh, providing harm to nature. So that is what I built. Uh, I bought into our very own family business, All India Warehousing Private Limited, uh, wherein we provide cold storage solutions, which uses a lot of thermal power. Because that cold storage has to run 24/7, and it has to go at a temperature of minus 20 or below. So what we did over here is we bought in solar system. 
solar pv bhi and uh, at the same time when we bought this solar system we have played our part towards the environment but what about the business operation the business is that to make profit and to provide the best to its client so this is where strategic management stepped in realizing that not putting this uh, solar panels will not only bring our uh, efficiency and uh, give uh, sustainability towards the nature but it will also reduce 15% cost of us and at the same time this cost reduction will be provided to the clients for them so it was happy for us the nature was happy we were happy and our clients were happy so this is the point of saying all is this is that when you learn this different modules that are really practical towards the life and you can genuinely apply it towards your uh, towards the industry you are working in or towards the sector you are interested in and this is what i realized with my personal experience 